In this episode, I'm going to work on homework number one, um, which is we need to create an API endpoint, get product types in the product controller, and then uh, we need to add product type GUID in the product type model. Then we can apply add migration and update database command. Then later we can create product type DTU, then we can update the product service that will convert the product type into product type DTU. So that was the homework, right? Let's go to the Visual Studio. Now we have multiple version of product controller, the version one and version two, you can implement in both version. For now, I'm going to implement in the version two, okay? so we need to create a http get method here and then public um, let's create a synchronous method task i action result give the method name get product types okay then return okay for now also we need to provide the route here route we can give the name get product types that is the route name right okay so how can we get the products here well we can create the service right product types equal say asynchronous method so await service dot so we do not have that get product types um, method in the service layer right so we need to create that okay so that is gonna be get product types async Okay, so we can create, we can control dot and generate method in the product service. Okay, let's go to the product service definition. Well, it's here, but we are expecting to return product type, right? Also, it should be a list of product types, right? So we are gonna send it i enumerable product types okay so that is the method here and this is also good okay let's go to the i product service In the i product service we can implement that it's over here so this is like a product type different entity right we have a repository manager that has let's go to the repository manager so that is returning only the product repository right so and the product repository if you go to the product repository you will see this is a specifically for the type product right if you see product repository base type product so we can create I product type repository okay so right click add give it a name I product type repository okay make it products here otherwise it will make confusion uh, because we have the models under repository that models that product right so to make it distinguish i make it repository that products okay make it public and in the repository manager we can now return product type repository and this is gonna be product type okay also 
now we need to create i product type repository similarly we need to initialize i product type repository okay this is something we will need to create product type repository and then this is gonna be okay now let's create product type repository make it public this is products so we can follow the similar pattern that we use in the product repository so in the i product uh, in the product type repository it's gonna be repository base of type product type okay and then we can also implement i product type repository so we need to implement this okay so far there is no method i guess i product type repository so i'm gonna create that method in the i product type repository okay so the that product is i mean that is gonna be the similar of this one right so we are returning list of product type why it is throwing exception here public interface this is also oh it's gonna be interface <laughs> okay now we can implement the interface here so this error is saying there is no argument given that corresponds to the required parameter in the repository context of repository base so we need to implement the constructor here okay that's what it is right and if you see that we need to pass that to the base class so here we should be repository context and we need to pass that to the repository base okay what else uh, I think that's it now we can implement get product type async right so what we need to do await find all okay that will give us what list of product types you see I queryable and type product type because we have specified the repository base of type product type okay then order by it's up to you that order by is gonna be name and then to list Uh, actually it's gonna be to list async because our method is asynchronous method here return to list what is the except oh we need to add the using statement okay so now that is ready so the repository manager is returning the product type okay which is great we do not need this additional okay then from the product service now we have the repository manager and if we go over here in the method so what we are expecting here product types is gonna be 
await um, repository manager from product type what is that product type well let's go back here so we have the product type mm -hmm. so why we are not able to get that okay we forgot to add in the i repository manager the product type in the interface and that is going to be i product type repository right now let's go to the repository manager and yep now it's good right this is from the interface okay now we should be able to use the product type then get product type async method okay so we got that product types for now return product types that's it so if we go back to the controller now we got the product types we can return those as part of the okay all right now let's hit https let's create another request which is going to be get product types right and what is going to be the url here this is going to be a pi product okay and slash b2 sorry api slash b2 slash product slash get product types okay api b2 slash products slash product slash product types okay send yep we got the product types right this was the homework number one part one now we have to add the product type GUID right let's go to the second part so go to our model product type we now want to add product type GUID similar to the product right so what we can do it's gonna be oops prop means property GUID product type GUID okay and this is gonna be also a required field okay so we added that product type GUID now we need to apply add migration and update database command first we'll build the solution that is good succeeded package manager console and then apply add migration and give it a name let's say product type GUID let's say add, add product type GUID there is no space okay all together hit enter okay so build succeeded okay we are going to add product type GUID in the product types table all right now apply update dash database all right looks like it was succeeded okay now if we look into the table
product types okay it has a default value there because we already have existed uh, rows there right so that's why uh, it is needed a default uh, value there okay otherwise it would it would not run that update database command because we have two existing rows in the table right let's see view data okay it has two product type GUID here you can update this GUID like you can generate two GUID in the SQL server then update uh, those here right but for now let's see how it is looking like from the API yep you see that it is returning 0000, 000 the default one right so what we can do we can update these two in the database now let's open the table right click script as let's say create okay i'm not gonna use this first of all i want to generate two id new id right click then execute okay so this is the id one of them right so i need two ids right so let's generate two of them okay now i need to update these two and copy this one and update it here directly or you can create the script to update the records there all right now if you run the solution again you should see the updated uh, product GUID okay so now that part is done now third part create product type DTO okay so to create the product type DTO we need to go to the DTO or the DTOs there and under shared products yep so we need to create product type DTO and this is gonna be public class we can see the product type here I mean product DTO here right and we're gonna follow the similar pattern so what we are going to do we're going to remove the product type I mean ID right we are gonna send only product GUID and name so that is gonna be property GUID product type GUID and other one is name right I'm gonna keep that similar name because product type has a product name as a name okay we created that now what else update the product service that will convert product type to product type DTO now let's go to the service so the service we are going to return product type DTO okay if we make the update there we also need to update in the interface so we got the product type here but we need to convert that into product type DTO so what we can do per product types DTO is gonna be mapper right we did set up mapper before right even if you see in this method we are mapping the product DTO to product I mean product type to product DTO so this is like uh, the list of products right we did similar thing in get all products here so map i enumerable of product type DTO from product DTO so this is gonna be i enumerable product type 
DTO from product types right so mapper dot I enumerable of product type DTO from product types now we are gonna return this product types DTO let's build the solution expected something here up somehow okay let's build the solution succeeded let's run the solution and go to the API it has an issue it is not able to mapping that table right because we did not create the mapper well we have a mapping profile here that is for create product type to product type DTO because we are converting the product type to product type DTO right so that's why we need to create that profile so this is gonna be create profile product type then this is the destination product type DTO so that that's why it was throwing exception send yep now we get the product type DTO right without ID so that was the expected behavior right so that's what the homework number one was okay that's all in this episode then in the next episode I will work on the homework number two and followed by three thank you so much guys please if you are facing any issue during this homework or any episodes please write it in the comment box I will try to respond you there alright also please like and subscribe to my channel and share the videos with others thank you so much see you in the next episode